Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook DNT, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a uh, button with two alternating outputs uh, acting as levers. Bam! All right, so what to call that? Hmm, a dual alternating T flip flop, dual output alternating T flip flop. Sure, I guess we'll call it that. But I've already forgotten what I just said. All right, so again, uh, this came from uh, Defended Cobra 29. He wanted a uh, dual output button, like a button that had two, excuse me, two outputs. But he wanted it to act as buttons. So, you know, an on-off pulse. So, awesome. Well, when I started working on it, I came up with this dealie, which was basically, um, you know, two alternating uh, outputs from a button, but they were acting as levers. They were holding the, the the charge, and he did not want that. But you know what? I actually find this to be uh, extremely useful in a sense. I don't know why yet, but I'm sure somebody's gonna have a reason to need this. All right, so this is the most compact that I was able to come up with. Literally, this is the circuit. These are your outputs, and let me show you guys how to build this real fast. So this is your power block. As always, it is a blue block. From here on, we're going to put a repeater. Is it on three ticks? Yeah, it's three ticks. Shouldn't doubt myself. Three ticks it is. All right, next to the power button, we're going to put some redstone dust, like so. A block like so, right here. Some more dust, redstone torch. We're going to put a sticky piston here with any kind of block. Uh, and then right underneath it, torch. See? See where the torches are? Right there. All right, and these are your outputs, like so. All right, so um, you know this should work with anything. You can expand this out uh, as much as you want, pretty much lengthwise. And this is it: output one, output two, and they're holding their, uh, you know, their uh, power just like a lever would. Uh, again, let's say you want to make this flush with a wall. Nothing special to this one. Just run a repeater into it. Your button. I mean a block and then uh, your button and then you're good to go alternating hold on uh, it is a what did I call it um, alternating output T flip-flop BAM awesome I don't know I think I just came up with something to an extent at least name wise maybe not but it sounds good awesome guys well this is it uh, this is how you build a um, you know, button with two alternating outputs uh, that act as a lever. I'm still trying to figure out the thumbnails behind these and uh, the names. So I'm probably going to make it simple like uh, one button, two outputs, parentheses lever, parentheses button. Who knows? But as always, if you like the video, like it. Uh, click on the little dude up there to subscribe. And peace out.